Hey y'all, I'm the final anomaly and today I bring you an Endymion deck that can play through the Master Duel meta Hugging the runic wing, say hello to the mighty master of magic Get that ridiculous deck out of here Ash Blossom, you should have read the card Forbidden Droplet, you can't negate it all Choose between 5, 6, or 10 negates on the board Today I bring you Endymion routes, Endymion matches, and Endymion combos. Nerf Endymions because they are disgusting. Alrighty guys, so for this match here guys, we are going to go ahead and show one replay for the video i know most of the videos are just replays but we wanted to make this more a little bit more instructional anyways guys this is up against runix now keep in mind the match is not the most amazing it's pretty lackluster but what match against runic isn't right i mean runic is pretty basic it you know they're pot of greed times a million but anyways guys just kind of want to show you what endymions can do when it comes to facing these runic decks as they are so dominant in rank right now and so many people are using them and if you're wanting to use endymions you can kind of see what endymions have to offer in regards to going against runic anyway shadow go ahead and walk us through it so we are going second and we see it's runic and we are trying to hide not to click the surrender button <laughs> at least someone's <laughs> hugging no, all right guys surrender. How many of y'all? How many of y'all see that field spell come out and say, "All right, GG's." <laughs> Word for a bad time. Ah, oh, crap. Here we go again. <laughs> and finishes four of our stuff, and then just takes the card that he just added right out of our hands. So use three, or he just grabbed three cards again. Uh huh. So now it's our turn. The first thing we do, we go Citadel, so we can activate Abductor. Um. Because if that one goes through, uh, Citadel now can't be destroyed by card effects. Okay, yeah, Ash, you're here. Which is fine. If Into the Void gets Ash, we don't discard our hand during the entire end phase. That's so. true. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to get enough counters here. And now before we risk anything like Jackal, we're just going to trigger a Demon here. Oh, And he's good. got Huggin to try to protect. He could try to protect his field spell. But um, the ruling here is that Huggin has to not be the one being destroyed in order for her to banish herself. So if Huggin is selected as one of the um, targets for a Demian, Huggin can't actually protect her field. Wait, for real? Yeah, it says if another card you control will be destroyed by card effect. If oh, this card you control, so he can't activate the effect because he's being... Okay, that is pretty neat. Because Huggin's the one being destroyed as so well. So he thought he was safe, but not safe from the Mighty Master. No way. Alrighty, let's go. I didn't know that. That's a pretty neat rule. Okay, guys, keep that in mind. That's a pretty I didn't even know that. that's a pretty neat rule. Mighty mm -hmm. Master, he's a menace, guys. He's a menace. Yeah, yeah one of the few board breakers that can get around this, you know, toxic hugging um, protection. That is gross. Alright. What's he gonna do without his field spell now? Now he can't even uh use any effects. So we're gonna do this. Moving all three because we're gonna try to go for game here. We don't have to worry about any quick play spells during his turn. Pop. Add her way back because um, we can use his effect with uh, Citadel. We're never going to use it yet though. Because we're going to go Institution. We're moving three counters anyway. To add back a high scale. And now it's all a matter of just one quick thing. Doctor's going to search yet another negate for my deck. And as the pendulum swings, we get four negates on the field. I mean, no need, one. right? You, you get game here? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everything is out. He's summoned more demons because it's Runix. We don't. That was disgusting. Guys, I mean, just a quick way to get around that field spell and that destruction protection. Again, lackluster, but that's the thing with Runix is that if you can stop what's getting them to continue to get that advantage, which he did, that's GG's. That is mm -hmm. GG's, guys. And Demians versus Runic. Runic ain't nothing. Not against no the way. mighty, not against the mighty master. 
Alrighty guys, so for this combo here, it's kind of a treat. Now, of course, we did set up the scenario. So keep in mind, this is more circumstantial, but it is definitely a combo we wanted to share with you. That way, if it does present itself, guys, you guys know how to do it or are able to do it. Quick plug in for my deck, the Theory and ABC deck. If you guys are unfamiliar with it or interested in it, guys, this is the potential board that you can end up with ABC Theorians and it's safe from Dark Ruler no more and potentially uh, forbidden droplet guys it's a very powerful deck you got to banish three negates possibly four negates or spin whatever you want to choose uh, and then uh, potentially protection from abc and it will play the long game they would literally have to run over like 10 cards uh, for them to be able to go for game and so anyway quick plug uh, but shadow go ahead and walk us through this what is it a three card combo yes three card combo into three negates two negates but you won't have any counters on your board so essentially, if you have a, this in your starting hand with your five cards, you use these three cards along with two other stuff to give you counters and more negates and extenders. Um, even if those are bricks or you can't use any of those two cards, you still have these three, Abductor, uh, Servant, and mas Mastery, um, to go dig into your deck. And um, you also get to reuse your Abductor's effect, too. So basically, you activate the Servant of Deviant first, and you activate your Abductor, and you give Servant a counter. And then you're going to activate the uh, the spell power mastery. Now and keep in mind, guys, it. he's not huh? playing through this board. I just put this board so I can kind of plug in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course not. There's no way. Um, okay, so we're going to use it to actually search for Citadel. And with uh, with mastery, we're going to put the counter on Abductor. And now we have two counters in each board here. Now we're going to activate Citadel. And now we can go for Activate Servant's Effect here. And Servant is going to Special Summon the Jackal King. And now you're safe from Hand Traps if your opponent has it. So we can use Abductor's Effect here. If he's got Ghost Rogue or something that he was saving up, it doesn't work. But we use um, Abductor's Effect to actually grab ourselves the um, Endymion from my, from my deck. And now we can go into Electromite here. Best waifu. Yep, exactly. Now Electromite's going to put yet another negate into the um, um uh, to our extra deck. So we're actually going to go for um, um another Jackal King. This is important. You could use Electromite to pop a Doctor to add her back but you will not have enough counters um, to trigger her. So you actually have to trigger the Endymion first here. You can activate it. And then you can go Electromite Effect, popping Abductor. And because Abductor with the counter was popped, the counter goes right back onto Citadel. Then we go and add Abductor back on the field. Electromite could draw another card. Now we're going to activate Abductor. Now we're going to use the effect again, because it's not a hard one to turn, it's soft. Since you have Citadel, we can move three. And with that, we can search anything. Uh, I don't have any more in my deck, but if we did, we could search another Jackal King or an Endymion. So this is going to be our auto of Jackal King and Endymion. And now we can Pendulum Summon for the two Jackal King we just searched, as well as the Endymion in our hand. One, two, it's a three-card combo. Um, um, into this whole entire board. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards on the field. And if you don't like the fact that you don't have any counters, um, you can uh, use go into Selene. Uh -huh. And then Selene is going to be able to boost your field up like this. With counters. Keep in mind that this is still three card combo, and you would have three cards in your hand still. So you would have um, the Servant, Abductor, and Mastery, as well as two other cards, as, and a third card that you just drew off of Electromite. So I'm um, like, look, I just drew an Upstrike Goblin, which is good for filling the board with counters anyway. And if you wanted to, I'm um, um, yeah, we get more stuff here. And now since we have a Demon in the scale, we can actually use the effect and remove the counters that we just got off of um, um, Selene. And this is a four negate board with just three cards that we just got.
That's nasty. Extremely. But yeah, that's the combo. Now, guys, um, obviously, I probably wouldn't have a board set up like this. And if I did, that's just the nature of the beast. I mean, playing through that kind of a board that I do with my ABC3 and deck, guys, is very hard. A lot of people just quit when I set up a board like that. Now, we have seen boards where people set up these nasty boards against Shadow. And Endymion's just pop those boards just like he did now. Again, I'll link those videos in the description. Go check out all the Endymion videos, guys. This deck is wild. But just with three cards, he wanted to make sure we showcase uh that combo there in case you happen to have those cards because you are likely to draw into them and you don't know what options you may have those are the options that you may have when it comes to having those cards we thought it was a pretty neat combo for you to try to maybe learn you can go back through it and watch it guys uh, but if you have any questions on these combos comment in the uh, in the comment section i will respond if uh if i don't at least i'll get shadow to go and respond i'll let him know uh, shadow's mm -hmm. really good about uh, uh getting back to everybody in the comment section he's very passionate about endymion deck and is very excited about helping people uh, uh use endymions and so he will definitely ask he will definitely answer questions there is no such thing as a dumb question guys uh obviously pendulums can be a little complicated can be a little confusing and definitely is to me and so if you have any questions in regards so if you have any suggestions if you think you have a better pendulum deck or a better endymion deck Give us some suggestions, because you know what? Uh, we're all in it to make this deck stronger than it possibly can ever be. And so it would be super cool. But this is another route. And if you guys are wanting more routes, let us know. If you're wanting more, uh, if you're wanting to see different combos or maybe different options, let us know. If you're struggling with something, let us know. We can put it in the video. Alrighty, guys. So for the first example in this combo guide and in these routes, so that you can see what this deck is all about, guys, and Damien's is so so powerful and yes in this example i don't have an ash or maxi or any kind of droplet in hand guys but we do have an example right after this one where i do have ash blossom where i do have the droplet and yet still this deck can play through those cards guys um we didn't do this in rank this is just an example so that we can show you guys the guide kind of the routes you want to search for and what the deck is capable of anyway shadow go ahead and walk us through it So first thing we have is the blue board. He's really good for baiting out Ash and Imperm. And since he doesn't have it, we have to activate Magister first. So we could start getting counters. So in this case, if I had Ash or Impermed you, what would have been the difference? You just wouldn't have been able to get the spell book of knowledge? I wouldn't have gotten that, and I also would be a lot more confident in my plays because, oh, he can't imperm me, so I can go into Electromite just fine. And I can exactly. also okay. have Magister and Institution. Okay, so keep that in mind guys, if I did have the Imperm. The worry about me, or the Ash, the worry about me doing it, the worry about it is gone, and now he can feel comfortable going on Electromite. So it doesn't end the combos, it just maybe slow it down, or he goes a different route. That's it. Exactly. Alright. We do use Knowledge, try to see if we can get out the deck before we use the Desires. Oh, you and we don't have anything. You drew Garuda. Yep. Garuda, Garuda's yep. a good card, guys. If you guys don't know... The capabilities of Garuda, I will link the previous videos in the description. Go watch those videos, guys. There's a bunch of replays. Guys, <laughs> Zeus does not want to meet Garuda. No way. Anyways, all right. So you banished the top 10, all right? We feel pretty comfortable because you have Institution. We still don't get what we need, so we use Institution. Because we drew the Bestiary, we have the ability to trigger any of our cards immediately. So since we add Servant from deck to hand, we can trigger her immediately. Do you usually yeah. go, like, is, is Servant usually the card to go for if it's not already in your hand when you get Institution, or does it just depend on what you have? Actually, the card I usually go for with Institution is Jackal, the level 1, but I already know my Servant already, so it wouldn't have helped me at all. So I work for Servant because it's an extender. Okay, so usually Jackal is who you search, but in this case, you've gone through your normal Summon, so you go mm -hmm. for something else. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. Just keep that in mind, guys, if you're going to play this deck. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling pretty comfortable because of that call by the grave. We're using Bestiary, moving that card, but the count is on. Now we can trigger Servant immediately, and she pulls in the gate out of the deck. Now do you usually, is that who you usually go for there? Yeah, I always go for Jackal King first because you want to make sure you have more Jackal Kings and Demians. Uh, especially you want to have an equal, but if you already have the same amount of Jackal Kings and Demians, you go for another Jackal King because you're most likely to be negating monster effects. Um, also get Jackal King on the field um, first thing because the moment he's on the field, you shut down any other hand traps if you have other cards. And uh, it stops the Beaver as well. Also, Jackal King keeps getting counters on the field, so by the time if you can keep him on the field, you just keep fueling the field more and more. So you can remove counters from Institution or Demian. 
So Jackal King is the is the go-to then there, okay. Mm -hmm. We go for Electromite. He might if he did Imperm Electromite here, everyone always saves the Imperm for Electromite. We still would have enough for four negate. Uh-huh. You guys hear that? So, so yeah, this is true. I save so ever since Shadow and facing this deck, and I know that I'm facing anybody that's got pendulums, guys. I save the Imperm for Electromite. I do, I do now. That's that's the rule, because the Electromite's a huge extender, the plus they do the draw card, it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous yeah. card, that's why it's banned in the TCG. It's disgusting. Well, Anyways, but... Uh, keep it real quick. If you did um, Imperm Electromite here, look at the uh, extra deck. Um, look at the extra deck. We have uh, minus one and Draco King. We'd have one Draco King here, a Demian here. We just have to activate the Doctor. Then we could Pendulum Summon Draco King and a Demian and the Garuda from my hand. Then use Electromite and uh, Garuda to go into um, 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 what do you call it? A uh, Selene. Selene fills the board with counters. Then we use Magister to move three counters and summon Garuda back out. And we have a negate with Selene, the gate with Magister, and the gate with Endymion, and the gate Draco King, as well as Call by the Grave. So even if Imperm did go through to stop us, we still have five negates. So at, this, so, so at this point, at this point, you can play through Imperm. You're Imperm mm -hmm. safe at this point. So just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't have an Imperm for the example, but in this scenario, you can play through Imperm. And guys, I don't think I don't think uh, Electromite can be ashed here, right? No, the only thing that can be ashed of Electromite is the draw effect. When you pop it, add something back, and the effect to draw one card is the only thing that can be ashed. Okay, so at this point, the the main effect that you're reaching for. Uh, cannot be ashed, so you're looking pretty cozy here. Anyways, mm -hmm. uh, so keep playing us through this. So we have the Garuda. This is because if we pop Garuda, we get counters and institution. So if we want to trigger Magister, we are still fine from the duo, because uh, we can just remove the counters from institution. We draw that. We're going to Pendulum Summon right now and get as many cards in the field as possible. We got two Jackal King's extra deck. And we Pendulum Summon the Abductor here um, because we want to be able to go for um, um, Selene, which is an honorary negate. Now, guys, if you guys don't know, Selene here, is it Selene the one that grants you literally like any additional negate you want? Mm hmm. As long as I return it to the hand first with, the, with Endymion. It allows me to reuse anything, any negates that I've already done. So essentially, Selene's going to get um, uh, Effect Negate or. It's essentially an Omni Negate because he gets to choose what he wants. Mm -hmm. So exactly. uh, even, even though it's specific to either Spell Trap or Effect, mm -hmm. but because he gets to choose, I, I, I think it's an Omni Negate. Mm -hmm. Alright. So with Selene, we're going to fill a board with counters, nine of them. We actually use her Effect immediately so we can pull the Jackal out of our hand and trigger his Effect to summon another Jackal King from the deck. We have even more Negate. And we do this because we want to be able to go for a Magister's effect. So we move. We only have um, do have any more Jackal Kings in deck. So, so here, put them back. here you gave mm -hmm. up two effects. You gave up a Spell and Trap, and you gave up an Effect Negate to be able to summon IP. Yeah, we did that mainly because um, um we didn't have enough room to trigger Magister. Magister can summon another Negate from the extra deck, and himself can summon another Negate during your opponent's turn. So because you gave up two cards for an IP, it was more interaction during the opponent's turn. We freed up more spots on our zones, so we could go Magister to fill up the board with every single zone being the gates instead of um, um instead of having one zone free to that's just not doing anything. Okay, so you guys hear that? He actually gave up two negates for IP. Let's find out why. Go ahead and walk us through that. Mm -hmm. I can trigger Magister with three counters. He summoned a Damien. He didn't have a counter before, but now he does. So we use him as material. We got set this past time. All right, so what's this board looking like? Kind of walk us through it. Okay, so right now we have um, two monster negates of Jackal King. We have so five counters in Selene, so we have more than enough counters to stop um, two monster negates. And Demian can negate by bouncing a card with a counter to the hand. And if I actually negate using a Demian, I can actually bounce himself with he has a counter. And then I can trigger Selene to put himself on the field. I don't want to do that yet though, because Magister could move three counters to summon a Demian from the deck for a secondary among uh, and Spell Trap Negate. And then we can do another thing. We haven't even used Selene's effect for yet another Spell Trap Negate. So basically, every card on the field is a Negate. Selene, Demian, Jackal King, Magister, and Jackal King. Plus some more interaction with um, IP to go for maybe an Appaloosa for four more Negates. Go for an Underworld Goddess to negate my opponent's um, front row as well as take a monster out. We can go for Ava Max for extra protection, or we can go for Unicorn to bounce a card um, they control to avoid Zeus as well. 
So you're looking at one, two monster negates. You're looking at spell trap negate. You're potentially looking at a spell trap or monster effect negate. Either or here with Magister as well, or just or just one specific type of negate. Oh, I don't have a Jackal King in the um, deck anymore, so it will be another Endemian from deck. Okay, so two spell traps, two effects, uh, potentially a spell trap, and then whatever you want with IP. And if you happen to go in, I mean, with, with IP, and if you happen to go to Apollo, then that's another potential four negates if you want those. And don't forget the call by the grave in the grave in the in the spell trap right there. And the call by the like grave, yeah, negates. guys. So this is disgusting. This is disgusting. This is... So for sure, one, two, three, four, five, six negates for sure. But you could potentially go nine. Yeah, this is actually ten with the call by the grave because Apollo is yeah. four, five monsters, and then a tenth one with call by the grave. So guys, depending on what he chooses to go, this can potentially be a total of ten negates. Uh, mm. Nine if you're just counting the monsters, not the called by, because that's obviously you know uh, that depends. You might get it, you might not get it. But guys, you're looking at a, a nine, potentially ten negates if you choose to. If not, you're still looking at five to six negates with the spin, five to six negates with goddess, five to six negates with Avermax. This is a disgusting board, guys. And keep in mind, even if I did have Droplet on the board, I would literally have to negate just about everything on this board for me able to get a playthrough. And if he doesn't send a spell with droplets, if he just sends monsters or a trap, I can actually dodge it out. If I can chain Kaba the Grave to it, I can also chain IP to move enough monsters on my board to the point where if I don't have, if I have less monsters on the board than the amount of cards he sent with droplets, droplets will fizzle and I still have my negates on the board. Yeah, so yeah. keep that in mind as well. If I use droplet, and let's say, I, um, if I use droplet and I didn't send any spells, let's say I only sent monsters. If he if he activates IP's effect, well, he activates uh, called by the grave, then activates IP's effect. He can get rid of. Uh, he can make sure that the board doesn't have the monsters that are needed to be uh, negated, or the amount that are needed to be negated. And then Droplet just kind of yeah fizzles out. So that's actually very powerful. So that is it's very powerful option. as way. Well. Yeah, it's an extra option. It won't happen in all scenarios, but it, it definitely will happen. And mm -hmm. so, anyways, let's see. I'm gonna try everything I can to out this board. Go ahead and go so we chicken don't game. This because okay. we want to be able to have counters on servants and get up the, all the counters on Jackal King. Easy this. Mm -hmm. Get more counters because they're not really afraid of Furion. He's not nothing in Graveyard. And now we actually negate that because we've seen all the anomaly videos. We know what they do. Yeah, negate you negate Union Hanger. Don't ask shit. If you can negate it and destroy it, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, this we is have a... Parvalon, this so is we a pretty... Magister. This is a pretty neat interaction, guys. So he he negated it, right? So mm -hmm. that that spell and trap negate is gone, or is it? He just right back on the field. he just summoned one right back on the field, guys. That is disgusting. That was just a free negate. That's gross. That is gross. Mm -hmm. All right. That is gross. All right. Yeah. This point at this point he's just trolling me now this point he's just trolling me so i obviously don't have anything that was it i'm toast so i normal summon uh o-line now guys keep in mind here and uh this is actually a very good showcase so that you know let's say let's say they just somehow happen you know they're playing zodiac or whatever and they happen to get an xyz monster on the board and they just plan on attacking they, let, let's say the card won't get destroyed uh, and then they can go into Zeus that summoning unicorn here is very ideal because you just spin it and Then you don't have to worry about a Zeus either So he's also safe from Zeus because of IP now if you have Garuda in hand he'd be safe from Zeus too But just so keep that in mind guys IP isn't just there for the additional negate sometimes you don't need them sometimes you need to spin a card um, Sometimes you need to use goddess and so this is a perfect example of that IP not being used as a negate and spinning whatever card is on the board Anyway, my poor old lion. And at this point, too, what, what are you doing here? Uh, we're just summoning the monster we just discarded back. Because you can summon from hand to oil graveyard. Uh, guys, again! You just cannot get rid of the mighty master of magic. No, he's too mighty. <laughs> he is too mighty. <laughs> Anyways, guys, he's back for a third time. Like, Anyways, yeah. guys, this is the power of Endymions here. It's just too good. Anyways, I hope this example here kind of helps in what you want to search for when you're kind of playing through the deck. I know Endymions can be very complicated, so I hope this kind of helps you gain an idea of what you want to search for, what are the options, what everything can do. 
Um, but anyway, this is one of those examples, and so I do hope it helps. Alrighty, guys. So another replay. Again, this is just me and Shadow, so that we can show the example of routes and what this deck can do. Now, in this case, guys, I have the Ash in hand. I have the Droplet for the turn. So this is a good example if the opponent has the Ash. And they have a Droplet to negate what he's going to come up on board. So kind of walk us through, Shadow, what you're doing, what you're aiming for, and what the goal is. If you want to keep a pause. Yeah. So what I see when I look at that hand, I see a bunch of Pendulums and a couple of spell activations. But I know one Pendulum is a counter. My main thing is get Sylvan on the field first, and then try to get enough counters to use it. Um, when I see secrets in Institution, I know that the only thing that could stop the secrets is an Ash. But even when it's Ash, you still get the counter. So know that even if Ash goes through, I'm still fine. I can trigger Servant. So I make sure to go with Servant and Magister, and then I can just activate the rest of the spells. And either he negates the Servant Special Summon, or he negates a draw two. And I felt pretty comfortable here. Which is, this is huge, guys. The amount of people that actually Ash Servant mm -hmm. is huge. And like huge. I I've done it myself too. I actually finally learned after playing so many times against Endymions, and now that I understand Endymions a little better, I know when to. Yeah, like I know when to do it or when not to do it, or, or at least know that if I can banish this card before anything, get rid of it. Anyways, mm -hmm. but yeah, so that's very big, guys. Keep that in mind. Even though you ash them, you can still pull the effect. Um, yeah. Obviously, under certain circumstances. But anyways, all right, go ahead and walk us through it. All right. You got secrets and he ashes like hmm okay it's fine i'm still able to go for a combo even then we can go institution before we do anything we use servant's effect and this is because um we want to make sure that we get the counter on them we can actually get free counters to remove from servant we don't have to remove them from institution then we normal summon we activate our other copy of servant for the counters Right now, we are just pulling more and more negates out of the deck. The main goal is to get as many negates in the deck as possible before you are on Penum Summons. Mind, we have enough counters to negate in Naboo if we need it. We've got the counters in um, Magister. We're putting in Demian just because we have enough uh, here. And usually, do you want to keep it paused here? Mm -hmm. Usually, we want to use Luxemite's deck to pop and add a draw to see if we draw a card that can um, uh, be Penum Summoned. But if I do that, I'd be wasting a counter on Magister, and I hate wasting counters. So we can actually just Pendulum Summon, if you want to play here, play again. Mm -hmm. okay. We can Pendulum Summon first, before using Electromite's effect, because we don't have to activate Servant to Pendulum Summon now. We can still just draw and do what we have, we do the match today. And DB did not have a counter, um, um, so we can actually just summon Selene, and then summon him back, and then get the counter. So now it's just gonna go, and we're gonna get. We actually go for a jackal here because um, um mastery can search in Demian and so can Magister, and jackal can get the other um, Demian from my deck. Then we go mastery, and we put the counter on institution because it's protection, and he get, doesn't get counters like everyone else. Instead of using a Demian's effect to summon itself and pop, we can just move three counters and summon him. Six negates through Ash Blossom. So that was through Ash Blossom. Six negates on board. One, two, three effect negates. Spell and trap negate. Maybe another spell. No, another spell and trap negate, and then whatever you want up here. Yep. We use uh, Endymion. We can bounce Magister back to the hand, and then we can. Um, um, he gets a counter. And then we can summon um, Magister back. Or if he uses a monster effect first, we can use Endymion to bounce the Jackal King that we already used, and then summon it right back. Or use Magister to summon Endymion from the deck. And Debian bounces Magister back to our hand, and then we search to summon Jackal King back. So, yeah. So Three, guys, it's uh, six negates if he uses a monster effect first. So keep in mind, I have to negate. A lot of people say, well, drop or Dark Ruler no more GGs, which even if I had drawn Dark Ruler, I don't know if I could have done very much here. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, guys, so keep in mind, I did this first because I want to be able to chain it with Droplet so that I can use it for cost. And so I negate what I think is the most important to negate. Obviously, I have to negate Endymion. So 
I'll have enough here. Let me know, whatever he summons, he could probably chain block if he summoned a monster that had an effect on summon, but he doesn't have any effect on summon. We don't negate that because, you know, the only normal summon, we just gotta worry about the Union Carrier on board. He uses Union Carrier, and we could just negate it. He's like, no, we can't do it. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't very much I was gonna be able to do here, guys. That's with Droplet, that's with, uh... Ash Blossom. He still has a really good board going there, guys. This is the pretty. This is this is pretty basic for Endymions. Is that you know five, four, five, six negates. Um, very incredible. But I just wanted to show that as an example that he played through the Ash. He played through the Droplet, and there was just nothing that I can do there, guys. And I don't take my ABC Theory and deck lightly. I think it's very strong. It literally shredded. Mm -hmm. It really literally shredded it through Platinum. It's it's almost done with Diamond, guys. Check out the video. I'll put it in the description down below if you guys want to see that deck. And it, it can go second. It's just it can't go second against 50 million negates. It's going to be the end of the video again. Thank you so much to Shadow. Here's his information, guys. Go follow him on Master Duel. Um, reach out to him. Play his deck if you want to put it to the test. He's usually at the live streams as well. I stream every Saturday. Uh, if not, I'll try to make up for it on Sunday. But he's usually there. Put his deck to the test. He'll show you that Endymions are nothing to be reckoned with. We have a tournament February 25th. I'm pretty sure Shadow will be participating, or at least he's participated in all of them. He's won a lot of them, and so feel free to join that as well. But thank you, Shadow. I really appreciate you being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. And um, it's always nice to showcase some uh, of my favorite deck, Endymions. Really passionate about it. Um, but like, uh, even though it's a combo guide with things, the deck doesn't actually have exact designated combos besides the jackal and magister one that was mentioned before um it's basically all improv you basically see what's in your hand and you have a new strategy based off of whatever you draw so even though there was no specific things besides maybe electromite trying to go into electromite you can still do multiple things whatever the situation calls for whether you need a negate with jackal king or pop with a damien the deck is not a one trick pony you can do multiple things has multiple different outcomes so it's really nice to showcase what the deck can possibly do and this is awesome so thank you and um yeah of course i appreciate it guys again reach out to shadow reach out to me in the comment section let us know if you have any um ideas uh maybe any critiques uh, any other routes just whatever you think guys listen in the comment section please like the video subscribe if you haven't already we upload at least i try to upload some kind of endymion related content at least once a month or at least that's usually been the trend i also do a lot of abc stuff a lot of ojama stuff my two main decks right now are abc and ojama those are usually the two that i usually tend to mix around and then we do upload the endymion content at least once a month shadow's very very active in the community and i had to share this deck and uh we've just been at it since and so if you look forward to more endymion content um but yeah uh catch you guys on the next one